morning sunshines. Aldena is here. Welcome to my channel about leadership through entrepreneurship. Uh, yes, leaders, our leaders, people we admire. What do they have in common? Confidence. That's the topic of today's session. We think often that confidence is uh, something we are born with. Some those people there that are confident, those the leaders, those that achieve things, they are naturally confident. They're born like that, nothing to do about it. Well, that's not true. Simply, that's not true. You, you look at yourself, you know, do you, do you ride a car now? And uh, were you born with confidence riding a car? No, you, you put an effort and you learned and you build your confidence. So confidence is something you can work on, <clears throat> you can develop, you can protect. Um, oftentimes when we say, you know, oh, he's born confident uh, or I'm not like that, it's secretly underneath an excuse to not put the effort to become confident in certain field. If you have dreams, if you have goals, that you want to achieve, you need to put some work to get there, become confident and um, attract the right things to happen. Second, very important misconception about confidence um, that I found truly, truly helpful to demystify is that mistakes, failures, setbacks are ruining your confidence. Well, there is no progress without setbacks. There is no success without trial and trial and trial and error. And at the end, you figure it out, right? Um, that's how humans work. That's how academic research is done. That's how social development is done. And many, many fields in the in a human um, progress in our evolution are done through trial and error. So errors are part of the success. And why they are not uh, determining the confidence is because, listen to this very carefully, is because there is space between what happens around us and how we react to this thing. And that's very important. I'm going to repeat it. There is a space between what happens to us and what we will do with this information. So we are not just simply victims of what's going on around us. You know, well, you know, the weather is bad, so uh, I, I'm not going to do that. We can, we can say, okay, this was not a pleasant uh, situation, so I, 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 I failed. This was not a pleasant situation. But what did I learn from it? It's a free learning experience. What did I learn from it? And uh, how can I use it further in my life to build my confidence? So this is in action how you protect your confidence. You don't allow uh, unconstructive thoughts to ruin your hello hey. to ruin your your confidence. You are busy with constructive thoughts. There is one definition of um, confidence that I really like a lot. It's given by the <coughs> by a guy called Nate uh, Zinser. He is responsible for the nationwide uh, training program on um, performance for the United States Army and top athletes. And what he says is this. Confidence is a sense of certainty about your ability to execute on autopilot and bypass the thinking. How cool is that? I mean, in which it, can you look at your life and say, which things do you do on autopilot? Well, those things that you've learned to do very well, right? So like riding a car, like uh, maybe performing some tasks at your work. Um, anything that you do on autopilot, you've put so many hours in it. And that is why you became confident. Okay, so I will leave you with this definition of uh, confidence. Morha. And now that you have no excuses anymore to think that the confidence you're born with it or that, that, that uh, oh, you've had too many bad uh, things in life, that's why you cannot be confident. <laughs> you have no excuses anymore. Go after your dreams, become that amazing entrepreneur changing the world with his new products and services or whatever your dream is. 
Take care. See you around.